Hello, this is the Lotarek from Lotarek Zler. Today I'm very very happy after five years, six batch of prototypes, hundreds of hours spent on coding uh, and huge huge amount of work, electronic work, programming work. I'm very very happy to show you the first working f mm, device but please keep in mind this is the beta very early beta uh, firmware loaded today I'm gonna uh, test this device with ZX Spectrum using RGB cable and divide uh, Unfortunately, I will not record this with the sound because I am not uh, interested in the sound. I am interested in the uh, picture quality and I hope you enjoy my video. So, let's start. Okay, uh, first I will tell you what's my test platform. I'm using uh, RetroScan Art Scan Doubler connected with DVI uh, cable uh, to the PCI Express Grabber card that's fitted in my computer. It's Micomsoft uh, the digital grabber. Also, I use very simple software IU VCS to record this. Oh, you can see the picture now. It's a control screen from Scan Doubler. Uh, maybe I will turn it off for a second and turn it on back. Okay, as you see, it's RetroScan Art 1.0 version, copyright by Acid Maker. Acid Maker is my friend Jakub Kruszona Zawadzki. Uh, just a curiosity, he is the author of CO2SD device that's widely spread around Atari, seen around the world. Of course, the second line, <laughs> sorry, the second line says that production and distribution will be made by Lotarek.pl, and Lotarek.pl <laughs> is of course uh, me. Uh, let me click once more. Okay, so uh, let's start. Let's start from the very, very basic usage. As we have three buttons on the screen, we have three buttons on the device. Let me turn on the ZX Spectrum. Status says that RGB SCART composite sync ZX Spectrum. Uh, device informs you about the frequency, horizontal, vertical, uh, but uh, maybe it's not important at this moment. Let's focus on the many. Uh, many is uh, many is at the moment uh, very simple, but what makes me laugh all the time are the filters options. Let's go to the filters option and the first position color. No filter, we've got original picture. Picture. Okay, we can change to mono and the device outputs only black and white screen. We can emulate green monitor, amber, cyan and sepia. Okay, let's set up no filter, special. Uh, threshold won't be visible at this moment, but this is a very useful option, for example, for computers that outputs only mono uh, picture, like uh, Atari ST in the high resolution. Uh, maybe I will show it later. Negative 512 colors, 496 colors. Pixel we can add some skylines, vertical, horizontal. We can add some noise, like an old uh, CRT TV, and a very, very big noise, 
scan lines plus noise and this really looks like an old old CRT TV but we are focused now at the quality of the picture let's go back to the main menu of course we can uh, move uh, the picture left right up and down uh, and each time we can save for dedicate for the this device co actually connected we can save dedicated config that will be stored in the device memory please remember this is early beta stage and i will hope you enjoy next uh, now i'm gonna play some uh, videos from zx spectrum just to show you how the smooth scrolls are okay let's start the uh, this demo and now i'm gonna shut up for a while the most important thing is just to observe how smooth the picture is what i think that picture is recorded in 30 frames per second so rather on regular tv it will be much much smoother <laughs> 